everyone, now here and um, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another cosplay showcase video. And I have previously showed you some of my cosplays um, like in detail here, standing here in my room when, I, when the costumes are already finished. The three previous ones that I did were all Star Wars costumes. Um, I will link to them down below so in case you're also interested in Star Wars costumes. But as a cosplayer, I'm also doing Disney characters. So this will be my first Disney cosplay showcase video. Wow, what a sentence. Um, it is not a tutorial, so everything's finished and I do not have any footage of where I made these things. Or else I will have some pictures probably. So I will show you today how I made or how um, my Jessie from Toy Story cosplay um, looks like. In detail I'll show you some of the fabrics and stuff like that. So in general I'm a huge Toy Story fan and um, Jessie is my favorite character. I actually just started uh, to become a big Toy Story fan when I start, when I saw um, Jessie in the Toy Story 2 movie, so in the second one uh, before that. So I also like the first one, of course, not as a child. When I was a child and I saw Toy Story 1 in cinema, I was like scared so much that I never watched it again. And then just like some years previously, like maybe since three years I'm a Toy Story fan, maybe right? Um, and it just then started when I saw Toy Story 2. Because I really love the character of Jessie, I really like, like her whole story and it really touches me. And Ever since then I wanted to make a costume of Jessie um, and like last year in October I finally made it and this is what it is. Um, with my other cosplay uh, showcase videos I had to put on this mannequin like different layers of fabric, different layers of like dresses. With Jessie it's actually kind of simple. You already see so the only layer which is on top which is this shirt. I will show it to you like in detail now. Here's the shirt. Um, it is made of a very stretchy uh, jersey material fabric, but it has this um, waffle kind of uh, waffle like structure. I used this kind of waffle structure because I thought, well, Jessie's actually a small doll and any kind of fabric structure would be actually really big on her. Um, so I chose a material for this, for the other ones I could not find anything, um, which has like a big fabric structure. So this part, like everything that's white, is very stretchy. I don't need any kind of zipper or uh, like real buttons to get in here because it's just stretchy. I also did not make like a real like button down shirt because Jessie does not have one. She has just like this one part and then these kind of fake buttons on top. The yellow part is also a little bit stretchy but not very much. Um, and here is the color which is also made of the same material with this uh, waffle structure and yeah is it does not have a kind of a real button down uh, opening and I also did not want to make like a zipper in the back or anything I was really like struggling with how to get into the shirt because like this part here is stretchy but it is really like a like a very narrow color so how can I get in without opening here so my thing is I've got a snap button here Ta-da! And the color is actually not sewn on for this whole part here. It is completely like sewn on here. Very normal, like a normal shirt color. Um, but here it is just like open. But when it comes very close here, you don't see it. Because like the top part of the color is, is on top. So you don't see that it's not really attached. And then I have like three snap buttons here. So, suck, suck. I'll leave it like this. And then I can get into the shirt. This is then big enough for my head to get in. 
and yeah this is how it works for me for like that's how I figured out I had a lot of like like uh, looks for the Jessie costume which they have in the Disney parks and um, and I figured I make something like some of these things different and some of these things I also took over because for the sleeves I really liked that they in the Disney parks they achieve this kind of doll look with these very flat arms that they like made oops that they sewed like this part here I don't know in German I would call it it's a um, Biese to stand out when you when you are in this and you still have this part here which looks as if your your arm your sleeve like it, it, it would be flat and also in here this is where your arm uh, would bend like this part is here so it looks also as if it would be a flat fabric thing and there would no would be no flesh inside I mean it does not really look like this when I wear it but it's the closest I can get to be looking like a like kind of a doll <laughs> or, yeah. then we have these cuffs here which are really like ginormous very long almost covering up my full lower arm from the size and it is very uh, it is um, stuffed here something inside it is a like, cushion foam um, which I often use and here is some kind of um, stuffing material but it is like like a fabric that you, you I could cut and have these things which are stick out I've no idea how, how would you would call them but I pretty much also have the Jessie doll and it is kind of similar there you see we have these things also here so that's why I just took this one material cut it and put it on there yeah um, this like chain or whatever you would uh, call it or lasso uh, like painting here it is really painted on I got myself a very thin fabric marker something like this and then they are really like drawn on This red part, this um, I covered this like the edge uh, of this yellow fabric with. It is actually just a jersey fabric, um, and not really a bias tape that I used. I often use I I, I like kind of um, use this kind of like jersey fabric instead. Really buying a bias tape because it's even more stretchy and it bends in more different ways. And yeah, and then it is kind of loose here, and it's sewn like on f on top of this. So it's not really like sewn together, but it's laid on top and then stitched down. So I still have this this um, kind of bias tape here, very loose. Same at the back, yellow, but without any like drawings because there's nothing on. And here I've got the fabric or the jersey kind of bias tape and I stitched it down and I tried to stitch it down with a biggest stitch that my um, that my machine is able to make which is not really it would be better if I would have like really huge stitches there but I'm okay with it so it is then stitched down here and this like is just like a stitch that looks nice yeah the buttons <laughs> very easy for me just to make like I'm not good with these stuff I made them out of foam like Eva foam two on top of each other with a thin one and a thicker one and then painted and like sealed and they are just glued on here with a like super glue and which super glue is also good on fabric so it never will come off I would probably not really put this in the machine in the washing machine um, so I would just like like clean it by hand yeah that's basically the top I oh, know there's another detail 
you probably have already seen it. It's the string, like when you can, you can, you can pull the string and Woody or Jesse, they are talking. They have their phrases. Whereas honestly, Jesse, I think never anyone pulls Jesse's string um, in the movie. So I, we don't know what her exact phrases are. Like my Jesse doll has phrases, but they are just from Toy Story 2, what she's saying in there. So. But this is like a super cool detail I made it. It is honestly just a bangle here. <laughs> and this is something from, uh, I honestly don't know, I bought it for like when I bought like a lot of different craft materials, like a plastic ring. And, and in here it is rubber band. So it looks a little bit as you can pull the string, but yeah, it's just rubber band. So it does not really like come out. You cannot really pull it out but really nice detail not very comfortable to sit when you were like sitting I don't know in the train or somewhere and this is against your back but anyways let's go on now to oh, I put the fabric marker in there to the um, trousers so it is a jeans yeah it's jeans and I bought them I did not sew jeans <sighs> I thought about really sewing jeans because Jessie does not have these pockets and honestly I also think she does not have like back pockets but when sewing jeans with jeans fabric you never get the good outcome because it will never look like jeans it will look like blue 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 trousers because you can never achieve like this washing and all the details which would be your jeans and yeah so I just bought jeans <laughs> and and just edited edited not but um, like like put some details on it's like these belt loops are um, not from like from the real jeans because I just removed the ones that were under that and got myself like similar shape like blue fabric and I knew that the belt would be huge it is six or seven centimeters wide I think six and a half or something and the belt loops on normal jeans are never like that. And I had to put them on different places where Jessie has her belt loops, like the side, then the back again. They were different at the jeans like before. The belt is completely self-made. Inside of this, I mean inside, I mean it is real leather. That what you see is real leather, but it is I, I do not have like such a <laughs> Thick leather so in there is also Eva foam and it's a very thin, thin leather um, maybe I guess you can see here this is how, th how thin the leather actually is um, you can easily use real leather to cover like Eva foam and then have this like very cool and clean um, material which is thick um, and thin leather does not like is not as expensive as really thick leather so it's always a good choice for me and yeah it's basically a belt made of these two materials then covered and with this pointy like um, edge here and I open it let's just get this out why are velcro so super easy for me because I could not I, how how could I make like this buckle like a real thing to I could have made like something that pops into here like a hole and something which comes out here but velcro is always the easiest thing for me so it's some of my like go-to materials velcro and yeah this belt buckle is made out of um, air drying crafting clay so it was one of the things which I was most nervous about because I'm not good at like, sculpting these things um, but I did my best and I think it turned out okay then it is also like covered with um, a gold vanish so yeah and it's glued on there you we'll probably never get it off because it's I have some kind of super glue, super glue which stays on very well and yeah, that is called the belt. You see underneath it's just plain normal jeans, dark blue. 
they are tight jeans because you can see at the back of it I mean for me they are really tight <laughs> um, you can see it at the back and this is how Jessie's like jeans look like they are very um, tight but at the front of course you have these like cowboy whatever chaps whatever they are called um, and these are just plain white fabric and the cow dots are um, like painted on with fabric paint black fabric paint I looked very close at Jesse um, pictures from uh, I think the current one from Toy Story 4 I had always on my laptop and then looked where her um, like dots or cow cow print like points are and then I tried to exactly replicate that um, and then it is sewn on by hand here maybe you can see some of the stitches kind of a blind stitch because you can't get in with a, um, with a sewing machine when the trousers already like it's already finished it's too narrow the, the leg would be too narrow you can't really go get good inside there so I decided to make it just by hand stitching and it looks a little bit like puffy here but honestly when I'm wearing it it is really far stretched out and then it looks good so of course my legs are a little bit thicker than this here <laughs> yeah and then it is also sewn on on different uh, several different other points like it is loose but at this point here and then again at this point here same as also the inside of the leg there are different like points where I stitched it on or sewed it on by hand because you can't get very well in there by machine so when you're walking it kind of stays in place but here it is all loose it is so sunny I'm so sorry or maybe like this yeah so it is loose the inside is like also just white I think it's two layers of fabric on top of each other and one of them is all stuff the stuff I did not even buy I bought the trousers um, yeah and I bought this material here I have no idea how to call that but I think it is the best look to achieve when you just when you what I showed you at my Jessie um, doll and the edges um, also have this kind of bias tape around so they are also covered by that but it's not again it's not real bias tape this one it is a stretchy kind of um, faux leather look uh, jersey material so it is a little bit like shiny you can see that here it looks a little bit like leather so I really like that look and then two different kind of stitchings so especially on the black part you see the stitching very well and same technique as I did here at the arm um, pits. is it called armpits um, at the knees so it looks like it is a doll which it's very flat and you can just um, bend it here like the knee that's how I did it and this is actually all the fabric part of the costume and I will now show you the boots here are my Jessie boots I bought like I was kind of searching for cowboy boots for a very long time uh, I searched like on, on eBay most of the time but also on other pages but I got these they are real uh, I think they are real Texas boots because they are made in uh, made in the US and everything it is real leather they are really stiff and not really very like comfortable but the look is really good it's just this simple brown without any like stitching details or anything and I added like this part here and this is like foam 
covered in gold and I that mean in gold um, vanish yeah and honestly on here would be standing Andy or Bonnie depending on what movie you wanted but whenever I walk in them of course it goes away again so it I have no idea how I could make the name maybe you, you can still see that there was the A of from Andy Andy whenever I walk in it it just vanishes so if you have an idea how I could make that stay what to use because I use different kind of like paints I used um, like one of these um, permanent markers nothing worked so I always when I walk it, it goes away so <laughs> but these are the boots so basically not very much work went into them the most work for these shoes was finding them and as I said I got them on eBay so it's kind of it was lucky definitely the most work went into the wig um, yeah. yeah, the wig is really made out of, um, of wool strings, like the wool material that you would just use for knitting your pullovers. Um, a very nice, kind of a little bit darker shade of red, not super, but, but, but it's kind of really bright red. Um, and I knitted, or whatever you would call it, this wig like completely. Underneath there is like a real like wig kind of cap. And I have definitely um, pictures that I can insert now of the process so how that you can see how I like um, put all these strings on the wig cap and um, it is like the front row all around here is really like kind of knitted in there um, but most of the other parts are sewn then by machine and also here on top you can see like this line the parting is a like machine stitching line it took me like I think two days but then I was finished um, I could um, like make the braid and I also was kind of like mm, it was not so easy because I could have made way more hair on here but then the braid would have gotten like too big so I was like you I, I shouldn't it, it should be like that all all the head is covered so you can't see under it but same time not too much hair so that the braid doesn't get like too big but I think this is a good uh, way it is still movable <laughs> so bendable and at the end of it you see this nice yellow bow which I just made like a it's like a rubber band here inside here so it's like a hair tie or like a hair scrunchie that I put on there yeah and one of the let's put it here one of the most important things when thinking of Jessie of course is her head is her cowboy head it is a different shape uh, shape shape like um, Woody's head I can just show you the difference because I have both of the uh, dolls. So Jessie's head is kind of very flat, not so much cowboy, it looks a little bit more like, um, I don't know, the Spanish kind of cowboy, <laughs> what you would call them, um, and, and Woody's is really like a typical cowboy head. Um, so I tried to really replicate the look of Jessie's head instead of buying just a plain cowboy head and using that one. Um, and it is kind of huge, like the brim is really wide, you can see, you can see it from here. Yeah, that's what I also wanted to have, like a very bright, like wide brim. And it is kind of flat, you can see it, there's a little bit of shape in there. Um, I made it out of Eva foam, I use this material very often, same as which is on the belt. And um, like the whole... Like the complete head is made out of Eva foam, so it is plasticky, and 
and I like that because Jessie's and Woody's hats are supposed to be also plastic um, or vinyl <laughs> and um, that's why I did not want to make like a, like a fabric head, like a fabric on top or leather. Leather would have been also an, an option but I just love how shiny it is because then it is covered, uh, the foam is covered with different materials to, and uh, the top is definitely like a, a vanish. A spray and it is huge <laughs> it looks super silly when I put it like on my head like this it is also like too loose but when I've got this huge like wool wig on and it totally matches and it kind of totally works like this stays on I don't need to pin it down sometimes when I'm walking it falls off because of the wind or something and but I really like this the this white part here is just a simple fabric like part stretchy pulled over glued uh, down on some parts here easy and the edge here the white part at the edge is um, again a leather it's a leather string which is also like I cut a lot of holes in here then I pull it through pull it through pull it through so it's really leather on top of this kind of plasticky looking head yeah and basically that's everything of my Jessie cosplay it is very comfortable to wear the wig is very like back heavy because of the like huge braid but I have to pin it down at my forehead a lot but then it works I'm not super um, like super a fan of how it turned out concerning the ears because my ears go down because it is so full on here maybe I can like change that a little bit so yeah that's basically um, my Jessie cosplay I have worn it to one convention so far and I don't know, I have not planned another convention as of right now, but I really, really would like to have like some more Toy Story um, cosplayers with me. That would be amazing to just to have like maybe the trio of Jesse, Woody and Buzz, but who, who can cosplay Buzz? I don't know. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed seeing my Jesse cosplay, all the different parts of it. It was, I would not call it an easy build, but I would not call it difficult because the wig and, the, and the, the head was a little bit more tricky uh, to get the shape right to... I've never made like a wooden... A wooden I have never made like a, a woolen wig before so I've never made any wig before I just bought them and, and styled them so another first in this cosplay so I never made this kind of wig but yeah, that's it hope you enjoyed seeing some of like my Jessie cos cosplay in like detail and um, I will definitely show you now some pictures of Jessie, like in the end of where I'm wearing it. And please tell me in the comments down below if you have like had a look at my cosplay page or my Instagram, which cosplay would you like to see me make um, a video of, like kind of this like cosplay showcase video. Which one would you be interested? Is it one of the other Ahsokas? Is it like another Dis Disney? Or is it like something completely different, like Ellie Settler? Just, just tell me. I'm uh, really enjoying to making these, although these are one of the most difficult cos like videos to shoot because I don't know when I have not a really good like backdrop for those. Also, either it's super dark, I have to turn on, turn on my light, or it's super bright outside, and then I need to like keep the light out, and then I am turning this red because then it kind of looks like red in here. <laughs> anyway, bye bye. Uh, may the force be with you, and see you real soon. And yeah!